Well, welcome back to my studio. I'm trying a new camera mount, and it's going to be a chest-mounted camera, which will probably reflect my breathing. <laughs> this is more of a less an experiment to see how that works out. I got this clay. I want to try it out. I've never used this clay before, but I saw it being used on uh, YouTube, and so I thought I'd uh, try this out and see... If what uh, it's like. It's a uh, air dry clay that takes something like 24 hours for it to uh, uh, dry and harden. Ultra fine grade, low shrinkage, superior strength, clean handling. Time to play with some clay. I brought a uh, Ziploc bag because if this air dries, I don't want it to uh, dry once I open up the package. Now, believe me, this is all an experiment, so I have no idea what this is going to work out like. Feels good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this clay into this bag. It does leave residue on your hands. And so, I'm going to get my, uh, I'm going to get a rag to kind of, well, I'm going to probably have to wash my hands after I use this stuff because it stays on your fingers. As you can see there on my thumb. All right, I got a piece of wood. A little scrap wood. And, uh, I'm gonna attach it to my, uh, turntable here. There we go. Mm-hmm. As you can see, I got my mount on, and uh, what I had to do is I had to go into my box of parts that I've kept and put a couple of attachments to get the camera just a little higher so that I can get the uh, full uh, piece that I'm working on in view because there's a stop, uh, kind of a ridge right at the back of this uh, first attachment that goes on your chest that keeps it from going as any further up. And if you turned it around, it would be way too low to get anything. So um, I had to do that to get this to work. And uh, let's see. The uh, chest mount is by this company here. I ordered it off Amazon Prime and uh, it came pretty quick. I think I ordered it uh, Sunday and I had it by Thursday. I think that's how fast it was. But anyway, it was fast. I'm going to break off a piece of this clay. And uh, I'll see what we can do with it.
it is malleable. I mean, it does work nicely. I gotta clean my hand off before I go handling my camera. And uh, to get the uh, camera at the right angle, now I need to just adjust my lights. All right, let's see if we can't do this. All right, it, uh, it's not easy to work with. I mean, it's different than plastiline. And uh, it might need some water on your fingers, I think, to uh, make it uh, work properly. I'm not sure. I think what I'll do is go get a bowl of water and come back. Yep, water helps. It is more of a water-based clay. But I don't think it's your normal ceramic clay. Can't decide whether I like it or yet or not. No, I don't like it. My wire tool doesn't work as well with it. Now, as far as the uh, the body-mounted camera, I think I'm going to have to do use it sparingly, but use it uh, with a mounted camera only because uh, I think you probably go seasick after a while This clay is not cheap, and I've gone through quite a bit already. And uh, so I can't recommend it for big pieces. I might use it for eyeballs. Because you want something that's solid for an eyeball, so you can work your magic around the uh, eyelids. So that's something I might consider doing. Keeping what I have left after I get done with this, if I have any left, just for that purpose. Yeah, dipping the metal tool into the... Uh, water before working on it helps. Right now, I'm counting this as a fail, but I'm gonna, I don't like giving up too easily. Now I'll keep playing with it.
I think what I'll do is get this as far along as I can. And then come back and uh, see if I can apply to the hardened clay. If I can't, then it's a complete fail. I think you can sand this and maybe even carve it. I don't know. The trouble I'm having is the clay doesn't want to... Uh, respond to the uh, wire tool very well. It wants to pull the whole batch of clay to the side. So maybe this is meant for more metal tools than wire tools. I'm a thinking. Yeah, I'm going to call it quits for right now. Thought I'd just try it out, and uh, I'm not overly impressed with it. I'll come back and try it again next week. That should give it sufficient time to harden up. And you can see, so you can see I've used probably a, a third of it, the clay, so... But it definitely needs to be in a plastic bag to keep it from hardening, I'm thinking. Well, as you can see, there's quite a bit of residue left on my hand. And uh, I'm going to go try to clean it off in the sink, and I'm pretty sure it'll come right off. Um, it is water-soluble, I'm sure. But uh, we'll see. Not totally... Uh, I, I'm about... Scale 1 to 10. This is about a 4 right now. All right. Next time, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.